This is a story of mysterious and extinct woman named. When Mrs. Emily Gerson died, our whole town went to her funeral. The man threw a sort of respectful affection for a fallen monument. The woman and the woman mostly out of curiosity the inside of her house. It had been once set on our most silent street. As time passed, it became an eyesores among eyesores. She had become a tradition, a deity, a care to the town. Colonel Sartors remained her taxes after her first death. Mrs. Emily did accept charity, but he invented a tale. Mr. Gerson had once lent the community a significant sum. We prefer it this way of repaying. A new town leaders take over. They make unsuccessfully attempts to get Emily to resume payment. The board of Aldrin buys her a visit, and the dusty and antiquated barrel. Mrs. Emily will be here as shortly. Miss Emily finally entered the room. I have no taxes in Jefferson. Colonel Sartors explained it to me. We are the city of Ortiz, Miss Emily. Didn't you get a note from the sheriff? I received a paper, yeah. Perhaps he considered himself as the sheriff. I have no taxes in Jefferson. But, Mrs. Emily, I have no taxes in Jefferson. See, Colonel Sartors, I have no taxes in Jefferson. But he's been dead for almost a decade. She vanquished them just as she had to their father 30 years ago. Emily's house reeks. Just tell her to clean up. We have got to do something. Damn it, sir. Will you access a lady to her faces of a smiling bed? So the next night after midnight, four men across Miss Emily's lawn and slank about the house like brigals. They broke open the cellar door and sprinkled lime there. They broke open the cellar door and sprinkled lime there. And that's when people had begun to feel sorry for her. None of young men were quite good enough for Miss Emily. You don't deserve my daughter. So she became 30 and still single. Her father died, leaving the house for her. All ladies prepared to call at, at the house and offer condolence and aid. As is our custom, as is our customs, Miss Emily made it meet them at the door. Dresses as usual with no track of grief. We are sorry for your loss. People started to come for con- condolence, but Mrs. Emily Aramcoli welcomed them, saying, What loss? My father is not dead. Dead. She did this for three days, with the ministers called on her and the doctors trying to persuade her to let them dispose the body. Finally, she broke down and let them in. Please let the town take care for the body. We believed that she had to do that. We re- remembered all the young men her father had driven away. We know that nothing left. She would had to cling to that which had robbed her. She was sick for a long time. When we saw her again, her hair was cut short, making her look like a girl. We got a company to have new sidewalk. Homer Marron, the foreman, was a young, young kid. He was always in the center of letter. Soon, we began to see him and Mrs. Emily on Sunday afternoon, afternoon driving in the yellow wilted buggy. One day, Mrs. Emily wanted to be the pharmacist to buy poison, but told not to state the reason for such purchase. After much deliberation, the man sold her a license 
and met uh, met up and excuse for a rat infestation. She still hurt her head high enough like when she bought a rat wasn't a year later. I want some pizza. Yes, Mrs. Emily, what's kind for rat? I I want the best you have. Well, this can kill anything up to an infant, but for what you want is a license. Is that a good one? Is a license? Yes, ma. But what you want? I want a license. Why, of course, if that what uh, you want. But the law requires you to uh, you to tell what you are going to use it for. But we were always curious as to what she, what Reggie did with it. The Negro delivery boy brought her the package. The crackers didn't come back. When she opened the package at home, we thought that she would kill herself. The parent, but he reminded that he likes men and he is not uh, the marrying kind. We thought it was a disgrace to that town. What she is doing, so we sent Baptist minister. He didn't work it. We sent her relatives from Alabama. Soon we learned that Miss Emily has been the jewelers and ordered a man's wallet set in silver with the letters HP on each piece a complete outfit of means clothing including a nice shirt we thought they are married. It seemed inevitable that he would disappear with the finished construction work there was on. Splendor of his sliver or oh, his leave. Three days later, Homer came back and he saw the Negro man admit him at the chicken kitchen door at one uh, dusk evening. That was the last time we saw him. Where Miss Emily, although we've seen uh, her uh, at the window, like the night of the time powder. Then before her cousins visiting, visited, no one ever saw Homer again. He has begun to be so rounded by a, a hideous odor necessitated of uh, offending Miss Emily. Some men sprinkling them lying in her house discreetly during midnight. The next time we saw her, the, she changed again. Her door remained closed except those six or seven years where she china painting lessons. As the town grew of people outgrew those lessons, she closed her door for good. After a few weeks, the small went away for another couple of years. The only person in turning and leaving the house was again to be her childhood. Negro servant was his boy. He slowly watched her Negro servant grow gray and old. And then she died. After the opera, we ladies were curious as the mysterious left in the house, so we had to be let us in. Some men explored the upstairs of the house that had been deserted. Uh, the Negro man let them in. He was never seen again. They had a funeral on the second day. There was one room no one has seen in 14 years. No one but, uh, dares to open. It until Miss Emily was in the ground. They broke it down with foam. There we found a corpus lying in the bed, a corpus that we recognized to be off. They broke down the door for a long time. We just saw there on the second pillow was uh, the identification of a head. We saw a long strand of iron gray hair. And as we started at figure before us, the sunlight blood the through 
the red curtain to the attention on below next to him revealing to the long yellowish iron gray hair next to the body